Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Night Clan. I first want to say thank you guys so, so much for all the love on the first couple episodes. I was not expecting it to blow up the way it did. And I know you probably guys are like, oh, that didn't really blow up. But for me to get as many views and as likes as I did in the amount of time that it's been up, for me, that's blowing up. Uh, so I am so, so appreciative. Thank you guys. I'm so glad that you love Night Clan as much as I do. And uh, yeah, are you guys ready? Why did that shift? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're all good right now. But yes, thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate it. But now let's dive back into Night Clan. I do want to say before we get into this a little bit, uh, with as many cats as we're getting, I might not go through all of these uh, like we were we have been. I may pick out a few that kind of are standing out. Um, like Sneeze Star is not eating the bird, regrets not eating the bird on the fish fresh kill. Oh my god. I am so sorry. Sneeze Star regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile earlier. Things like that I may not show as much anymore. Uh, just because we are getting so many cats. But we will uh kind of continue to go through and if there is some really good ones happening we will definitely show them so seed speckle is now rethinking their life choices we've had a lot of cats rethinking their life choices recently and i'm starting to wonder if night clan may be falling apart maybe that's the omen that something is going to happen and night clan may fall apart we've had a lot of gossip we've had a lot of rethinking life choices it's just starting to seem that way, that this is going to go downhill really fast. Let's hope not. Fogpaw is irritating their mentor, Slight Dusk. <laughs> we have a lot of cats that like to irritate uh, their mentors, and he's apparently taking right after Gullhale. Oh, it's perfect that Slight Dusk is also his mom. <laughs> that just makes it even better. Lake Pelt is dreaming about being leader. Ooh. Lake Pelt could be giving uh, Doe Stripe and Nettle Leap some run for their money here soon. But she straight on didn't even think about being deputy. She's going straight to leader. Frost Kit is biting Thyme Leaf's tail. Already we know Frost Kit is going to be one heck of a chaos cat. <laughs> We love it already. Good job, Frosket. All right. Most of our cats were feeling very happy or content or just eating fresh kill. So those were the only few that really uh, had anything going on. Let's peek in with Kinkfall and see. Kinkfall's just watching over the clan. Okay, so hopefully that means nothing bad is going to happen. Our first patrol comes upon the scent of a large rat. We catch the rat and have fresh kill. And the patrol quickly devolves into ghost stories and everybody is on edge. Besides that, we have a successful patrol. Our third patrol finds a young loner near the border and Lake Pelt volunteers to scare them off. And Lake Pelt's ferocity frightens the clanmates a little bit. Lake Pelt is just so, so fierce. I wonder if the fierce uh, relates to her or not. We'll have to check. And our last patrol comes upon the scent of a hare. And we catch the hare. Lake Pelt is fierce. Excellent. So she may actually be a good uh, contestant down the line. If we can get our experience up. We're, we're going to go based on experience. Sneeze Star obviously wants uh, his deputies to be experienced in the future. And try and keep the clan very strong. And knows what they're doing. On to 21 moons. Pigeon Wing invites the loner Sonic to join, who changes their name to Bird Nut. Ooh. Sneeze Star is debating if they should declare war with another clan. There's some stuff gonna go down here. Uh, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Declaring war? Sir. 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 We need to have a discussion about declaring war here. Echo Moon is fighting with Nettle Leap. I wonder if that has anything to do with being deputy. Time Leaf is hoping for a message from Star Clan soon. 
Thyme Leaf is picking up on this. Some uh, very tense vibes here in Night Clan. And uh, it's not looking too good. <laughs> Night Clan, I think, is starting to fall apart a little bit. And I'm assuming that's the omen that King Fall has given us because he had sent it to both medicine cats. And it seems to keep, we seem to have just like these rifts between everybody that aren't really getting solved. So, Night Clan, oh, they may fall apart. We're hoping not. Crossing, crossing paws, crossing claws, and just. Thyme Leaf is going to do everything he can to keep them together. Or, and Kingfall, too. Kingfall is like, excuse me from Star Clan. He's not letting that happen. All right, so we have Nettle Leap, who is thinking about love, and Pigeon Wing, who is thinking about kits. So are they finally going to have some kits here? They have not had a single litter of kits, and they're mates. So maybe? Question mark? That would be nice for both of them, especially since Pigeon Wing really likes kits, apparently. Gull Hale is acting suspicious. Why does this not surprise me? Gull Hale has been our little chaos cat since the moment she came into this clan. Just unexpectedly, too. I wonder what Gull Hale is up to. Frost Kit is becoming interested in herbs. I think Frost Kit is going to be our next medicine cat. He has already been <laughs> annoying the heck out of our medicine cats and now he's interested in herbs i think that's who it's gonna be oh no and now we have rubble splash wanting to be chosen as deputy echo moon is just really fighting for her position here like everyone wants to be deputy what is going on and bird nut is our new cat she is charismatic well that's good that she's charismatic. I'm looking at what else is here. Warrior, formerly a loner. And she's giving Fogpaw a task. Okay. So we'll have to see how Birdnut does in our uh, in our clan. Kingfall is feeling down. I wonder if he's upset about S Sneeze Star thinking about declaring war. Because that would just ruin Night Clan. Our first patrol comes upon the scent of a large rat, and they catch the rat, which leads to more fresh kill. Our second patrol, Nenaleep, admits they had a vision from Star Clan last night, and the patrol helps them work through the vision. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Our next patrol, Sky Splash, notices that the patrol isn't following the exact rules, and he convinces the cats to follow the rules. Okay. Good job, Sky Splash. Excellent job. Sky Splash is out here just taking care of everybody and not expecting anything out of it. And I think that would make excellent deputy material. So the rest of them may have a run for their money with Sky Splash. And our last patrol comes across a rogue at who they drive off. 22 Moons has come along and Seed Speckle has retired to the Elder Den. Fogpaw has earned a scar fighting an otter, and Moonpaw has started their apprenticeship, and Swamppaw has earned a scar fighting a hawk. You guys just like getting into trouble here. My goodness. Oh my god, Kingfall is proud of Sky Splash. Oh my god. We are gonna have... Sky Splash is totally gonna come in and take this deputy position from everybody else, and they're gonna be so hurt. But oh my gosh, Sky Splash is in Stark Land. They're talking about him. Kingfall is proud of him. Sky Splash, everyone's so proud of them. Oh, Sky Splash, we love you. You, uh, you are amazing. So Sky Splash and has heard a rumor about Moonpaw. What could be about Moonpaw? Moonpaw just became an apprentice. Maybe he did something against the rules. Hmm. Nettleleap is fighting with Slowclaw. Nettleleap. Why are you fighting everybody? Oh my god. Pigeon Wing caught a scent of a fox earlier. That's not good. We don't need any more foxes here. Gull Hale is now feeling nervous after feeling suspicious. So what did Gull Hale do? I think we have to watch out for her. Because from coming in as a kit, just appearing, to being suspicious, something is definitely going on here. So Moonpaw is spending a lot of time grooming 
and she's very careful. So I don't know why people are, Sky Splash is hearing a rumor about her. It just seems a little weird to me. So I'm not really sure what is going on here. Dunos is now acting suspicious. That's not good either, especially with him being a loner. Is he gonna cause some chaos for us? All right, on our patrol, they catch the scent of a fox. Oh boy, we have foxes again. We find a fox and cubs and drive them away. All right, well, they're gone at least. Our second patrol, Nettleleap, suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork, and they all have a great practice session. Our third patrol finds a loner who is interested in joining the clan, and they convince the loner to join. Ooh, we're gonna have to check out this new cat. Our new cat is Milkpaw. She's so cute. Oh, she's loving. Oh, I love this. She is so adorable. Please don't be chaos. Please don't be suspicious. Please just be cute and cuddly. Thank you. And our last patrol, Lake Pelt admits they had a vision from Star Clan last night and they can't make any sense of it. At 23 moons, Milk has earned their warrior name. Okay, I guess she's just gonna be Milk. All right, <laughs> we'll go with that. I mean, Kingfall is curious about what Beach Kid is doing. What is Beach Kid doing? Beach Kid is wanting to spend time alone. Spirestalk is fighting with Pigeon Wing. Probably Pigeon Wing has gotten hurt and does not want to take care of himself. So Seed Speckle is grateful they have lived so long. Oh, sweetheart. I know you've gotten to see the birth of Night Clan and have gotten to watch it come so far. You just are living the best life out here. Tall Paw is also fighting with Pigeon Wing. What is Pigeon Wing doing? I think Pigeon Wing had just said he was happy, so is Pigeon Wing our new chaos cat? So here we have Milk all grown up and she is so cute. Look at that little like, oh, adorable. Our first patrol is into ghost stories again. Well, we have a successful patrol. Our second patrol doesn't find anything useful, but we learned a lot and had a fun outing. Our next patrol comes across a rogue and who they drive off. And our last patrol, Birdnut is the life of the patrol. Everyone loves having them there. They succeed and have a great time. 24 Moons has brought Swamp Flower, earning their warrior name. Go Swamp Flower, woohoo. King Fall is thinking about their life. So we're not really getting anything from Star Clan right now, which is probably a good thing. Maybe things have calmed down. Maybe things aren't looking as bad for Night Clan, but we're still a little worried. Things are gonna get rough, especially when we lose deputy or leader. Like we have a lot of cats wanting that space now. It's gonna get a little crazy. Echo Moon wonders who will give them nine lives. So she is fully planning on being the leader at this point. I mean, she is 72 moons and I think Sneeze Star is like 90 something. So she definitely has a lot of life left as long as something doesn't happen. So she could definitely get her nine lives, which would then make Echo Moon have to decide who is the next deputy, which could be very destructive and chaotic, depending on who it is. Seed Speckle is sharing their wisdom. She has lived such a good life. She has so much to tell the kids and apprentices, even the other warriors. She is just full of knowledge and I, the clan is so blessed to have her sharing their wisdom. Pigeon Wing has once again caught sense of a fox, which is not good. Uh, we thought we had gotten rid of these foxes, but apparently not. So our first patrol, Swamp Flower, notices that they aren't following the rules and their concerns are dismissed. Swamp Flower did just become a warrior, so that is fair. The rest of them have been, well, one of them is Apprentice and the other two have been Warrior Longer, so I can see why they dismiss Swamp Flower's concerns. The next patrol has a disagreement and they look to Echo Moon to settle the dispute. And of course she skillfully smooths over any disagreement. Echo Moon would make a great leader. So we are very thankful that she is our deputy. Sneeze Star knows he made the best decision having her be deputy. So she would, so Night Clan would be blessed to have her as the next leader. 
our next patrol, Netta Leap suggests that it might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork and everybody has a nice practice session. Netta Leap is definitely a good candidate for the next deputy. We will just have to see. And our last patrol finds a young loner near the border and Lake Pelt volunteers to scare them off. Lake Pelt's ferocity frightens the young cat away. Lake Pelt is just one fierce cat. All right, that is all we got time for today in this episode of Night Clan. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We are getting down to the wire of when our next deputy is going to be chosen. Uh, who do you guys think it would be or should be? We definitely have quite a few candidates, but we know we have the blessing of Star Clan for Sky Splash. So is that the route we should take in Night Clan? Or would that absolutely destroy Night Clan? Or maybe is Nettleleap the destruction of Night Clan? And that is why Star Clan is so looking down on Sky Splash. There is so much to this that I am just so excited to get into. And I hope you guys have all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>